Good morning, everyone. How you doing? Uh, Pastor Ali Gray III here. Just wanted to share a video this morning. Um, one of uh, the kids that I had an opportunity to coach a couple years back at Kennedy High School tragically passed away. So please pray for uh, his family. Um, he was a great, great young man. And, you know, it just emphasizes one of the uh, tough parts of life. And that is, um, you know, tragedy happens. And uh, this young man was only 20 years old and he tragically passed away. He drowned. And so I'm really praying for him. And, you know, when I heard about it, I just wept because uh, I love all the kids that I get a chance to coach. And, uh, you know, I've been coaching for 30 years and coached a lot of kids over the years. And uh, I consider them sons and I consider them daughters. I coach football and track and basketball. So, you know, and I'm really I'm heartbroken about that. But I just wanted to share a video. You know, I've been praying and, you know, this whole uh, things going on in our nation, you know, the pandemic, the, the tragedy of George Floyd being murdered. And, um, you know, and I want to continue to talk about what God's put on my heart. And that is the issue of race, the issue of race. You know, I'm a Christian and I believe what the Bible says. You know, the Bible clearly says that there's one race, the human race. The Bible says in Genesis that God created man in his image. And, you know, we're a family. There's a human family. The whole lie of race is a construct created by societies or nations to uh, suppress or oppress people for various reasons. Now, the truth about our nation, you know, slavery, they used race as justification for slavery. And some people even tried to twist the scriptures to say that it was okay, but it wasn't because it's not biblical. And I, I study the Bible. I read the Bible every year. I read through the Bible. I study the Bible every day and I pray. And I'm going to tell you this. You can search the scriptures. I've searched the scriptures. The Bible doesn't say anything about race. You know, uh, the reality of it is the human family is connected. You know, my ethnicity is African-American. I mean, my ethnicity is African. I'm sorry. My ethnicity is african my uh, my nationality is American. I'm a black American. And my identity is in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is, uh, my identity is in him. And I want to say this to believers, that's who your identity is in. Your identity is in Jesus Christ. Your identity shouldn't be in the whatever, what kind of melanin you have. Whether you have a lot of melanin, you're darker chocolate like me. Or you're somebody that, that doesn't have as much melanin or lighter. You know, it's all based on melanin. It's a scientific fact. And it really breaks my heart as we, we got people that are uh, trying to push division in our country. Trying to, trying to um, you know, bring about division. And trying to literally destroy the United States of America. Now I'm going to tell you this right now. The reality of it is, is this. It is this, that there's only one race, and that is the human race. That is the human race. And that's what we need to teach our country. We want to we wanna always try to categorize. The media and our society tries to categorize people by saying, you know, this about black people, this about white people, this about Spanish people, this about Asian people. It's all to bring division. And I pray to God that this nation would wake up this nation would wake up and, and see through the lies and see through the lies. What happened to George Floyd was disgusting, tragic. It was murder. And if that had happened to one of my white brothers, I would have said I would be disgusted with it, too. If it happened to a Hispanic brother, I'd be disgusted. It's disgusting. And, and, and then, you know, and I'm, I'm praying that justice, justice will come forth out of it. But it doesn't matter. I, I love all people. When Jesus Christ changed my life, he supernaturally changed my life. He gave me a love for people. He poured his love in me and I have to pour it out 
on everybody I come in contact with, no matter what they look like on the outside, no matter what their uh, sexual orientation is, no matter what, I have to love people. If I want to be who God's called me to be, and I love people. But I'm going to tell you this, I love people enough to tell them the truth. And I'm tired of the media lying. I'm tired of even some leaders lying. You know, I, I look at, I look at uh, you know, some, some men of God who, who want to try to bring division and want to identify with a culture more than they want to identify with Christ. My ethnicity isn't going to save me. My melanin is not going to save me. Only Jesus Christ can save me. And he saved my life. And he saved my life, not because of the color of my skin, but because of the wages of my sin. The wages of sin is death. It's death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. And I hope and I pray that there, there's, there will be a great awakening in this nation. You know, coaching uh, the young people that I've coached over the years, some of them are in their 40s now. And some of them are, I'm still coaching because some kids are in high school. The reality of it is this, people say a lot about the millennials. But I'm going to tell you something about the millennials. The millennials are authentic. The millennials are real. The millennials can see through any fakeness. And the millennials are smart. I coach the millennials. I work with the millennials and I tell you this. I think the millennials may be the greatest generation to touch the face of the planet. And my challenge as a man of God and as a believer is to help them see that. Is to help them see that there's greatness inside of them. And to help them see that they're the ones that are going to bring about a change. And the way that they're going to bring about a change, number one, you want to change, you got to bring about a change, you got to be who God created you to be. I say it all the time. Each and every person is a priceless original created by God with a purpose and a destiny. Each individual has value. Each individual brings something to the table that's never been brought to the table before. It's never been brought to the table before. And God created you to do something specifically that only you can do. And the Bible says this, it says, where there's no vision, my people perish. Where there's no vision, my people perish. We've got to reach the believers, Christians. You got, we got to reach these young people. We got to reach these millennials. We got to reach these flock, these people that are flocking out in the streets looking for something to believe in, looking for something to hold on to, looking for something to bring them worth and bring them value. And the only place that they're going to find that is in God. It's in God and God alone. It's in God and God alone. You find your purpose in God. God is your manufacturer. God gave you the melanin that you have. God gave me enough melanin to be a beautiful chocolate brown brother. He gave different people different melanin. And he, he values each of us. Each life is valued. You know, I, I get frustrated. I get frustrated. We talk about lives mattering. I'm going to tell you this right now. All lives matter. All lives matter. Since 1973... 63 million babies have been aborted. Those lives matter to God. 20 million of those babies have been black babies. Those lives matter to God. All lives matter. We got to teach the truth, man. I'm not, I'm not running from the truth. I'm not running from the truth. I'm coming at the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. The truth. Jesus said the truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. Your melanin won't set you free. Your self-righteousness won't set you free. Your hatred won't set you free. The only thing that can conquer hate is love. And the only love that can conquer everything is the love of God. And when you give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says the love of God is shed in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. It's shed in our hearts to be poured out. You know, I'd like pastors to get together. I'd like to have one service on the green, if I could get a, if I could get some Bible believing people, some Bible believing people to come together and to pray on the green of the city of Waterbury. There's going to be something going on Friday, but I'd like to do it continually until we come out of this pandemic and until we come out of this, all this riotous lawlessness that's going on. 
I serve a God who is the creator of heaven and earth. Jesus Christ is our victorious warrior. Let's put down our church banners. Let's come together and let's pray. I believe what the Bible says. The Bible says in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 14, if my people who are called by name, if God saved you, he called you. Because Jesus Christ said, no man can come to the Father unless the Holy Spirit draws him. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, will humble themselves. That means get low to the ground and bow down, humble yourselves. Admit that we all have issues. Admit that we're all, we all need some help. Humble ourselves. Seek God's face. Seek God's face. That means seek his presence. Have a great worship on the green. Have the churches come together and let's just worship the Lord. We're quarantined anyway. We're quarantined anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We got time. We can get together and we can pray and we can pray and we can believe God. He said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, get in his presence and turn from their wicked ways. We've got to turn from our wicked ways. Abortion is wicked. It's taking human lives. We talk about evolution. It's wicked. God created us. We didn't evolve from apes and monkeys. We're created by an awesome God. We're created by an awesome God. We got to teach the truth. I'm tired of the lies of this culture. I'm tired of the lies of this culture. And it's declaring war on the kingdom of God. It's declaring war on the things of God. And I've had it with it. And I've had it with it. And all I'm looking for is some people to link up with me and to pray. And I know that God is going to answer that prayer and he's going to change this nation. He's going to change this nation and he's going to change the world. Do you realize everything going on with everything these protests in the United States of America? There's nations in Europe and Africa and everywhere protesting. Why? Because America leads the way. America leads the way. And I want to pray that we would lead the way when churches come together, when Christians come together, black Christians, white Christians, Hispanic Christians, Asian Christians come together and cry out to God. It says that he will, he will heal our land. We need healing in the United States of America. We need healing today. We need healing today. And all we got to do is cry out to the Lord and believe. God bless you. I love you and please pray. Please, please pray. Have a great day.